like it. Just like it is. It's fortunate that it's just like it is. She walked into the club like, yeah, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Just, just getting the effects of it. You know what I'm saying? So give me about uh, Drake got hits, D Lamonte got hits on Instagram. Go check me out. One D Lamonte got hits with two eyes. I'm an engineer, artist, and I manage this studio right here. You know what I'm saying? Super Sound Studios. Come tap in with your boy for your next session. You know what I'm saying? Hit me for availability and also check out your boy on D Lamonte got hits on YouTube. Your boy got videos, music coming out soon. I'm an artist, writer, all that good stuff. So come out, let me, man. Get it with your boy. How long have you been in the industry? Uh, I've been in the industry um, to date now, uh, 35 years. 35 years. 35 years, 35 years man. That's a blessing. He's going on 36 years. <laughs> That's, a, That's blessing. a blessing. That's a blessing. Out of the out of the, um, the 30 some years that you've been in the industry, the music that you have made, like me, I know a lot of it myself personally, but for the, the newer generation, the people that don't really know, with all the great hits that you have accomplished, what are some of the most popular songs you feel like that you have dropped in your career? The most popular songs? Um, I don't know. Um, uh, Nasty Dancer, Baby Baby, uh, Do You Hear What I Hear, um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's it, that's it. Um, um, Show me love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That was my jam, bro. Yeah, my jam, too. So, look, out of, out of your time in the career when all those songs was going on, what are some of the moments that you remember, the time that you would reflect on and say, during your career when you was doing all that with the music, you could just say, I always remember this time when this happened. I always remember the time when, you know, we was out in Panama City and, 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 and you know, we're having fun and, you know, and uh, doing shows and stuff like that. That's what I always remember, man. Just being out in Panama, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was um, that was a stage of the '90s. You know, what I'm saying those stage of the '90s and where everything happened at. Yep. Yeah, so everything was Panama back then. Yeah, yeah everything was Panama. <laughs> <laughs> so we in the studio with you right now. We in in Super Sign Studios, and definitely, definitely, I hear that you created something great today. So tell me this here. With your new music, what type of direction people should expect you going with your new sound, your new music that you're bringing out right now? My new music, I'm just going to be me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be me um, and be jazzy. You know what I'm saying? Be jazzy, do some jazz stuff. Uh, just be me. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just be slow. Slow it down a little bit. You know, um, 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 stay in front of what's behind us. You know what I'm saying? Just be me. That's right, that's right. And look, today, you know, um, today is one of the days where I hate to say this, but, um, you know, I seen today in the news that we had lost a, a great artist um, with the Migos, you know, and it just seemed like that's just been so much of a trend and a pattern right now with the newer generation with music and artists. And, you know, I just hate to, to hear that news today. Like, I was on my way up here to come holler at you, and I looked at my social media, and I was like, oh, my God, and it just... It just took my whole vibe, my whole energy just went to the left with the news that I seen today on, on Breakfast Club. And 
for as you being an artist that been in the industry for so long and, and well treated and, and well respected with your multi platinum hits that you had had, tell me what type of advice or what type of information would you give the upcoming artists in the new generation right now at this moment that's coming up in the industry? I would say, um, you know, um, you know, to no matter what we think uh, about the world, nothing's gonna change. You know what I'm saying? All the small things are gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? All playing dice. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, being small with somebody. Uh, everything's gonna come back to be more sophisticated. You know, and and you're gonna reach out and do crazy stuff. Just being sophisticated, man. So. Nothing changes, you know what I'm saying, in the life, you know what I'm saying. So soldiers be soldiers, wherever you are, you know what I'm saying. Be soldiers. Yeah, that's a message. <laughs> that's a message, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, is there anything that you want to brush up with and you want to finish the interview with? Any question, anything that you want to shout out to anybody? Anything that you want to say? No, nah, man, I'm on a shout out, man. I'm on um, um, The Real Kilo, Ali, on Facebook, um, Instagram, and IG. I'm on um, Andrea Rogers on um, Facebook. So just holler at me, man. See what's up. And oh yeah, um, one more thing I just want to bring up. We were speaking earlier, and you were telling me about you getting into the um, film industry now. You're trying to do a couple of films and all that. What um, what can people expect from you on that? Oh man, we're gonna be in that man. We're gonna be working that uh, real soon and real real soon. Um, Kilo's going all the way out with three bodies. So the three bodies are gonna be slamming, man, when it comes out. Um, um, and we're working on um, the Black Mermaid. Okay, man. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you and your new music and behind the camera, man.